Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nusya Haratul Akhidah binti Mu'arif From kelas RAS 104C Okay, for our group we choose Grammatical Analysis and its application as the topic So that I want to introduce our topic Grammatical Analysis is a class of lead technique used to determine the mass or concentration of system by measuring a change in mass The chemical we are trying to quantify is sometimes called the analyte We might use Grammatical Analysis to answer questions such as First, what is the concentration of the analyte in a solution? Second, how poor is our sample? The sample here could be a solid or in a solution. Okay, next, what are the applications of gravimetry analysis? Firstly, another advantage of gravimetry analysis is that it helps reduce the number of errors made by instrument when measuring the mass of a substance. Second, determining the volume of plasma is one of the applications of gravimetry in pharmacy and biology. And the last one is, it can easily give accurate and highly correct data, so it can be used to separate another instrument. That's all from me, thank you. Okay, so hi and assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Amar. So today, I'll present about types of gravimetry analysis. There's a four types of gravimetry analysis. The first one is precipitation gravimetry, which is involved the formation of a solid precipitate from a solution containing the analyte of interest. The precipitate is separated from the solution, typically through filtration and then wash, dry and waste to determine its mass. The second is volatilization gravimetry. It's based on the principle of removing a volatile compound from a sample through controlled heating. The sample is heated to a specific temperature, causing the volatile species to evaporate and leave behind a solid residue. Thus, the solid residue is waste to determine its mass. The third is electrogravimetry. It's a type of gravimetry analysis that involves the electro deposition of an analyte from a solution onto an electrode surface. This technique utilizes an electric current to drive a reduction or oxidation reaction, causing the analyte to be deposited as a solid on the electrode. The last is thermogravimetry. It's a technique used in chemistry to study the thermal properties and behavior of substance. It involves the measurement of weight changes or mass loss or gain of a sample as it is subjected to a controlled temperature program. Thank you. Hi and assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Sazafi Fawzi from IS2004C. My matrix number are 2021, 211 and 686. For the next part, which is application of gravity analysis, uh, Muhammad and I will present about analysis of chloride in seawater. Gravimetry analysis involved in this analysis is precipitation gravimetry. Application is used by scientists to analyze the molecule in seawater. The use is the is amount of chloride in seawater can, can be regulated if analysis was done properly. Next, so we'll talk about the involved in chloride analysis. Okay, for preparation, include in a conical flask, combine into 20 ml of sample of diluted seawater, we have approximately 150 ml of distilled water, and add one drop of methyl orange indicator. Gradually add the dilute nitric acid until the indicator turns pink. Then introduce 1 ml of 6 small per liter nitric acid. For preparation and addition, add 55 ml of 0.1 mol per liter silver nitrate solution drop by drop from a burek. Let the solution rest for a minute, boil the solution, then let it cool and stand in the dark for at least 1 hour until the precipitate coagulates. For filtration, transfer the precipitate to the vegetative funnel and sink a loose particle from the conical flask with a small amount of distilled water. For the next procedure, which is washing, wash the precipitate on the vaginal funnel three times using a few ml of dilute nitric acid solution. Follow this by washing the precipitate three times with a few ml of distilled water. To dry the precipitate, place the filter paper with the precipitate on a petri dish and allow it to dry overnight in the oven. Lastly, for analysis, weigh the dry filter paper with the precipitate and calculate the weight of the dry precipitate by, sub by separating the ground weight of the filter paper. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Muhammad bin Idris, student ID 2021610724. And now I will explain for the analysis part. First, calculate the concentration of chloride ion in your sample by utilizing the equation for the method using mass which in grams of silver chloride present in the dried precipitate from the analysis step. Second, Determine the concentration of chloride ion in the diluted seawater. And third, find the concentration of 
chloride ion in the undiluted sea water and lastly um, number 4 calculate the concentration of sodium chloride in the sea water in mole per liter gram per liter and also gram per 100 milliliter okay next for the precaution parts first testing the solution the solution must be tested first by added one drop of 0.1 molarity silver nitrate solution and second weighing the filter paper must be weighed first before filtrating the precipitate and the same analytical balance must be used for all the weighing process and third washing the precipitate must be washed carefully to avoid any precipitate to leaking out from the Burkina funnel and if the water in the flask become cloudy or not clear that means the precipitate is leaking out that's all from me in conclusion gravimetric analysis techniques provide accurate and reliable results for the quantification of substances in samples the different types of gravimetric analysis methods offer flexibility and specificity for analyzing various elements and compounds their applications are widespread ranging from environmental monitoring to pharmaceutical analysis and metallurgical quality control. By utilizing gravimetric analysis, scientists, researchers, and professionals can obtain precise measurements, ensuring the safety, quality, and efficiency of various products and processes. The analysis of chloride in seawater using gravimetric analysis is a reliable and accurate method for determining chloride concentrations. It provides valuable insights into the salinity levels and health of marine ecosystems, aiding in environmental monitoring and research. Additionally, it contributes to the efficient operation of desalination plants. By utilizing gravimetric analysis for chloride analysis in seawater, scientists, researchers, and environmentalists can inform decisions and take appropriate actions to protect and preserve marine environments.